It's been a while since I made a tutorial, I realized, and my buddy Mike uh, last night suggested that I do a banjo tutorial, so uh, not a bad idea, Mike. I know a lot of folks out there who would enjoy guitar and, and folk music may even have a banjo of their own, and so uh, I'll give you a few pointers. I'll try and keep it short and sweet. This is the five-string banjo. See the fifth one right there? Uh, so the four-string banjo, while a similar sound at times, is played entirely differently and tuned entirely differently. So that instrument is almost more like a mandolin uh, than anything else. But the five-string banjo can be played lots of different ways. Uh, bluegrass pickers will often wear a pick on their thumb and index and middle finger, and they'll play a, a roll. You know, so it's like a, a pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three. So. It never really felt real natural to me, so I've, I very rarely uh, experiment with the picks. Instead, uh, I've kind of borrowed more from what's called a claw hammer or frailing. I don't do a, a true claw hammer. I do much closer to a frail. Uh, now, a claw hammer would be kind of make your hammer in, or your hand into a claw and a hammer. Um, and that's pretty much the backbone of where my banjo style comes from. Now I throw a lot of frailing in there. Frailing is just you're occasionally plucking up, which normally with a claw hammer it's claw hammer. So every now and then I'll throw in a, a pluck up, things like that. So. Um, Play what feels natural. Play what feels feels natural. Now, much like a guitar, you want to learn your chords, and they're they're similar to a guitar. So, for example, that's our C. Um, that's a D. Some people play it with the. I play it like. That. Um, and and you know just start playing with different patterns. Let's see if I could teach you just uh, the gist of a song of mine. We'll do uh, <clears throat> where the bears dance. A song I wrote with my brother Ollie about why we have bear spots in Pennsylvania, you know, boulder fields. So uh, the little opening riff is going to be C based and it's going to be... Now there I, I clawed down, so that's more of a claw hammer style there. Every single note you just heard was with my two fingers going down. I'm switching over to more of like a frail. My my thumb, this guy here, is is plucking, not hammering. It's plucking. This is where I'm deviating from a true claw hammer, and uh, I'm throwing. So in between, I can hear I'm going I'm going thumb, index finger down, thumb, index finger down. Just try, you know, little things like that. I think is something you could sit for uh, five, ten minutes a day if you try and just teach your hand those little things. Whether it's the bluegrass style of one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> I can't even do it. Or the claw hammer style, or or something frailing like. So, like uh, sometimes when I'm just, you know, just jamming and spacing out mentally, I'm just kind of playing. I'm doing there is my thumb is going from the G to the D to the G to the D and my other two fingers are occasionally plucking up sometimes they're plucking down let me think if I think about it too hard I can't think about it so I just got to play all right they're going down so it's it's thumb is picking sorry that's Kevin the peacock uh, and my my two fingers are clawing down so so again here's the riff for uh where the bears dance. Up on the mountain, you can see it from the road. There's a field of rocks where nothing seems to go. My dad told me that's a spot on the hill where the bears come to dance when the moon it is filled. That's the gist of it. Nothing real fancy picking wise, and uh, I think you can have a lot of fun with the banjo. So if you already have one, keep practicing. And if you're a guitar or mandolin player, uh, it's it's really quite 
quite the cousin, so you can make the jump pretty comfortably. So uh, good luck with that five-string banjo. Thanks, Mike, for asking for this video. Even Kevin made an appearance.